Um, so yeah, uh, we can get started. Um, I was thinking I could take us probably to like a reasonably high level of tactics and then we could just, uh, we could just all kind of work on tactics together. Uh, that was what I was thinking. Um, we could try survival mode. Uh, we did that this morning and we never actually finished our game. Um, and uh, here, here we are. Uh, basically, um, you know, we're at this moment in survival mode. We have 48 uh, games down. So, uh, so yeah, so we can, um, you know, go from here. I didn't realize it would go back to the same, um, uh, to the same game that we had been working on, but that's actually great. Um, so yeah, uh, if anyone wants to work on these tactics, uh, that's what I had in mind, at least for a, for a little bit, and then I was going to look over uh, three games or so. Um, so these, uh, these, these were interesting. Um, we're up at a pretty high level, and uh, I'm, thinking, uh, I'm thinking that it might have to do with trapping this rook here. Um, like, I'm thinking like F5. Uh, F5 and then King to um, G5 maybe. But um, but yeah, if anyone has any ideas, like definitely, uh, I'm at the level now where I'm like sort of not sure. I'm thinking F5, and then basically um, there's not going to be a move for black to play or for white to play in response to that. So if like you play F5 and the king goes to E5, then um, uh, then you check, and then the rook can't go over to um, E4. So then you get to play King G5 and threaten the rook. So I think this rook is stuck in the middle. Hey, welcome, Raname. Uh, thank you very much for joining the stream. Um, but yeah, I think F5. Uh, F5 is the move. So let's give it a shot. Um, if I mess up, then we get we get to start a new game. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, I think King to G5 here, right, is wins this rook. And now we should be good. Um, on to the next one. Uh, so yeah, so uh, basically I was just thinking we could do tactics puzzles for a bit. Um, uh, here, maybe, um... Cool. Uh, that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking uh, rook takes h2, maybe. Um, uh, rook takes h2 is kind of complicated, though. So, um, so rook takes h2, knight takes h2, rook takes h2? Something like that. Um, but the queen's getting threatened, too, so this is tough. Uh, hmm. I don't know, tough problem. So I'm looking at like rook takes h2, knight takes h2, uh, and then rook takes h2. On king to g1 though, that doesn't really have a good response. So I'm thinking like, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, Maybe queen to d5, but I'm not completely sure. Um, yeah, so uh, so I don't know. W what do you think? Like, rook takes h2. Actually, no, I think it's rook takes h2, queen takes h2. And then, uh, so rook takes h2, knight takes h2, queen takes h2. Uh, and then... Rook to, and then if King F one, then um then Queen to uh H one and then Queen to F three, so um so yeah this is not a oh this is not a simul you're absolutely right about that, um uh thank you for uh, thank you for uh, fixing that, um That is true. That is definitely true. Um, but yeah, here you go. That's better. Um, but yeah, rook takes h2. Um, uh, rook takes h2 threat. Knight takes h2. Um, and then... So I was looking at queen takes h2, right? Uh, rook takes h2. Knight takes h2. Queen takes h2. And then king to f3, I don't know what to do then. Um, so that's where, I, that's where I'm stuck on this one. Um. I'm also looking at queen to d5, maybe? Like, queen to d5, and then, um, uh, and then queen somewhere, and maybe rook takes h1? I don't know. 
Hmm. Complicated puzzle. So yeah, so I mean, basically, you know, what what are the different possibilities here? Uh, you know, I was trying to do tactical study. Uh, so yeah, not one wrong yet. Um, 49 down. So we're kind of, th but this is the same game. This, by the way, is the same game from this morning. So um, uh, yeah, I'm thinking rook takes h2, queen takes h2. And then, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking, okay, so here's what I think. I think it's queen to d5, and then the king basically is forced to go back to g1, and then rook to g8, and then the knight blocks because uh, the the queen is trying to basically hold the pin on, right? Uh, uh, I we could I guess we could. Well, no, I, I was planning to do like a, ta a, a tactics lesson. I messed up on the uh, I messed up on the um, the uh, the labeling though. I, I I don't know how quickly it refreshes, but the simo was this morning. Um, yeah, sorry about that stop clock. But I'm thinking queen to d5 and then uh, and then rook to g8. Um, that's what I think. And then, uh, and then rook takes eight, rook to h7 when the knight blocks. Um, oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, next time. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna try doing a, a simul maybe once a week. It was really fun this morning. That was the first one that we'd done, so, like, it was, it was a pretty fun tournament. But I'm thinking, like, on this one, so, but I was trying to do, like, a tactics lesson, like, I think like queen d5 and then rook g8 could be good, but I'm not 100% sure on this. Uh, maybe, I guess I'll try it. I, I'm pretty sure it's queen d5, king g1, rook g8, knight g7, rook h7. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they didn't even play the knight block move. Okay, cool, we're up to 50. Um, Okay, so rook to c8 maybe, and then um, rook to c8 deflecting the queen from uh, from this um, the defense of the knight here, right? So rook to c although rook to c8, yeah, these are pretty tough though. That it, that is definitely true, Kira. But they're kind of more interesting if they're tough. Like we can sort of talk through what the different uh, the different possible like things are. Um, these are really difficult. Uh, so, I don't know, how about b5? Do you think b5 could work here? Like, b5 and then... Yeah. Yeah, rook c8 doesn't work. You're right about that. I'm just, like, thinking about how, like, I don't know how to systematically go through these. Uh, like, I haven't, I've never done, like, tactics lessons anymore. So, queen takes c8, uh, right, queen takes c8, knight e7. So, it's not, it's not rook to c8, or even just knight e7 immediately. But, yeah, you're, you're right about that. Um, but these are difficult. Checks, captures, and attacks. Um, I was looking at b5. I was also looking at a. Uh, I'm also curious about knight to d knight to e5 here. Maybe knight to e5, and then the queen can't defend this knight really, because if the queen, so so knight to e5, and then queen takes um, uh, d4, and then knight to f3. Hey, welcome, Idon. Uh, we're trying a tactics lesson. Um. I mean, yeah, probably. Actually, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. So if the knight moves, then uh, if the knight moves, then knight to f6, um, uh, knight to f6, double check. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, sure, no problem, I don't. Um, but yeah, so um, so yeah, this is this is tricky, because knight e5 and then knight to f6. The knight might just be pinned, actually. Um, but yeah, no defensive puzzles yet, I think. 
Uh, maybe b5. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, uh, Kiro. You're right. Um, b5, and then, I don't know, queen to c5, maybe? Um, good question, Idon. Uh, you know, I think um, people generally say to, um, uh, you know, people generally say uh, that you should um, uh, play in the open section. Um, I don't know. I I'm sort of not so stuck on that. Uh, I think that there's always enough surprises that, like, playing in your normal sections probably, you know, you I think you'll be surprised. If you play in the section of your rating, um, you know, there may be other people in your situation, especially right now where, like, everyone's ratings are really uh, deflated. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it's what any rating level is going to look like. So I guess I would say a play in whatever's the most fun for you is, is the answer. Uh, I You know, purists say that you'll get the best games uh, if you play the in the open section, but, um, but, uh, but I would just do it based on what you think might be the most fun. If it's fun for you to go home a winner, like, then definitely um, uh, go with the, uh, the, the under section. But, uh, but you will get higher quality games probably on average if you play the open one. Um... But yeah, so b5, right? And then what are the possibilities? b5, queen to c5, and I don't think white really makes much progress there. Or black doesn't really make much progress with that. Um, well, it depends on the strength of the tournament, too. Uh, Yeah. Gotcha. Um Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's really up to you. Uh I can say that what I always did is I always played the under sections, but I'm not sure that uh, that 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 might not be the the best way to improve. It is a good way to like win the tournament, but uh, that might not be like I basically played in my I never played up sections. I always played in my appropriate section, and then um, uh, and then eventually my rating went up enough that I would move on to the next section. Um, but it's really up to you. It's up to personal taste. I, I you will get better games for analysis in the open section for sure. So I, I guess I have mixed feelings about it. I never played up. I, I always played in, like, my under section. Um, uh, but yeah, so this is interesting. Um, what is going on here? Uh, b5, queen c5, rook e2, uh, queen h3. Interesting. Yeah, that's a very that's that's an interesting point, Kiro. Uh, the very um uh on that's that's a very uh like quiet attack, uh very indirect attack. But it's kind it kind of makes sense. I I sort of like that idea, Kiro, for sure. Uh, b five, queen c four, um, rook e two, and then queen to h three, maybe. Maybe. This is hard. this is difficult. Um, hey, thanks very much for the uh, the follow ops, man. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so I'm thinking B five maybe. Um, well, the thing about B five queen. How about queen? How about a b5 and then queen c5, right? And then rook to e5. Could Do you think that could be it? I'm kind of liking that now that I'm looking at it, right? Uh, queen, yeah, right? Queen to b5, queen to c5, rook to e5. And then does the knight, the knight has, like, the knight can go to e2 maybe, but I feel like you end up winning the uh, the pieces in the center. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be that. 
I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna gamble on it being B five. B five, Queen C five, Rook E five looks correct to me, but could be wrong. But I'll take I'll take the chance. Right, and I think Rook E five here. Yeah. And then Queen takes. Yeah. Yeah, it was an interesting idea though, Kira, for sure. Um I was I was seriously considering it. So it's gotta be Queen takes, right? Now Rook takes. Cool. Alright, on to the next one. Um, alright. So uh Queen to some uh probably Queen to defend the Rook, right? Or can the Rook can the Rook just take the bishop? Hey, welcome, Aphelion. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, we're so, I didn't realize that uh, Puzzle Survival did this, but um, uh, you can still um, uh, play the games from... You can still play the same game this morning. That I, like, it never finished, so we're, we're still on the game from this morning. Um, I'm thinking, like, Rook takes G2 here, but... Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really see anything else for black besides Rook takes G2, right? Um, and I don't really see anything that kills black by white. Um, yeah, no, no, that is interesting. Like, I'm like, I didn't realize that it held the same game. So I'm thinking Rook takes G2. But there's got to be some reason why this is complicated. Hey, thanks very much for the uh, follow copyright. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, Rook takes B2, maybe. Or Rook takes G2. Um, potentially. Uh, that could be it, but I'm not 100% sure. Um. Well, you can always do... Hey, welcome, our Paradox. Thanks. Uh, is there a new process that I go for? Uh, not really. Um, I think it's a really good question that you're asking. Um, it's a really good question that you're asking, Stop Clock. I think the main um, the main thing about it is uh, I, I sort of go off of pattern recognition that I'm comfortable with. Uh, this is a particularly weird one because I don't really see anything that it could possibly be besides Rook takes G2. But I usually, um, you know, I usually look immediately at a position and can see kind of the more, you know, at least the more interesting parts of the board. I think I think everyone does it to some, like, some extent. But, like, you sort of see where the points of attack are and, like, um, uh, and then go from there. Uh, and then, you know, like, in this one, there's, this one is a weird one, right? Because it's pretty clear that there's a one best, yeah, right? It seems too obvious to be true. I, I completely agree with Kira's thinking on that. Um, too obvious to be true. So, I don't know. Um, rook takes b2, queen to g7. I, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, though. I'm just going to play it. If, if, if it works out, then we can start a new game. Um, uh, it's really funny. I guess I should have a more deliberate approach to it. Uh, I just sort of look at the, um, uh, I just sort of look at the position and see where the points of attack are, but I don't have a very systematic way of going about it. Um, probably would be better if I did. Yeah. Does anyone have any objection to me playing Rook takes B2 here? Because I, I, it looks correct to me, but I also don't want to kill this game. Yeah, forcing moves. I mean, that's that's sort of what I'm saying. Yeah, forcing moves or uh, or semi-forcing moves, that kind of thing. Um, uh, that um, you know, that's a big part of the the way of assessing. Um, you know, uh, your uh, at least for me, your eye gets drawn first to um, to like forcing moves or checks. Uh, if you're given a puzzle like this, you get um, uh, so yeah. So rook takes b2 maybe. Um, any thoughts? Uh, I think I have to though. I, I honestly I don't see anything object. I, yeah, but rook to g4 and it looks like you're fine. You know, I don't know. 
Um, I think I'm gonna play it. I, I don't. I can't see anything else. Yeah, the rook can go to g4. No, I know, but it's still. I don't want to kill this game. We've been working on this. This game's been live for about ten hours now, so I don't want to kill this game. Uh, I think I gotta play it though, because I, I don't see anything else that it could even possibly be. So I'm just gonna do it. Hey, it was. It was rook takes b2. Um. All right. Now we have to figure out what to do next. Uh, but yeah, that like this one exactly. Um, <laughs> this one exactly was complicated because the the correct move was so obvious there. It, but it was there was nothing else to do. So, so now I'm thinking queen to g7. But I'm not a hundred percent on that. It might also be rook to g4. Uh, yeah, I was thinking queen to g7, queen to g7, uh, because, um, yeah, good point, good, actually good point, Idon, you're right, why queen to g7, because it basically solidifies the king side, but, um, and also, uh, you know, what, one tactic that I think will be useful here is the queen to g7, bishop to d7, rook to f8, and, uh, yeah, What's the point of this puzzle? Good question. Um, well, I mean, you know, determine whether... Yeah, good question. What What's the theme behind it? Uh, not sure. It feels like it's just trying to bluff you out of rook takes b2, which was... Or rook takes g2, which is the, the obvious move there. Uh, so I'm thinking queen to g7, maybe. definitely not yes that is correct it's definitely not bishop to d7 i think it's queen to g7 but because queen to g7 and then you bishop t queen to g7 bishop d7 rook to f8 seems like a way that black can make progress in this situation uh probably maybe but i don't think you can do it before this uh this um uh, this f file gets uh, gets solved. So I'm thinking queen to g7, bishop d7, rook to f8. Um, but it's an idea. I like I like this. I like the thinking. Like it's definitely a good skewer, and then the check on a e2 also. Well, no, but yeah, but I think the issue with king to g7 is it lets the queen in, right? So it, I think it's queen to g7. Um, and, uh, I think it's to not the king to g7, because if king to g7, then queen to f3, and the, um, here, so, like, uh, if king to g7, then, um, then queen to f3, uh, uh, threatening both, uh, queen f6 and queen takes g2. Uh, so I think that in that case, the queen would get in via f6. Although it wouldn't really have anywhere to go after that, but... I'm thinking it's queen to g7. Oh, and then queen to f8. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So I think it's queen to g7. I'm, I'm getting close to, uh, getting close to playing it. Queen to g7. I think. This is suspenseful. Okay, it was queen to g7. Awesome. All right. Uh, queen to e7. Well, these ones are particularly... I mean, you know, I like Puzzle Battle, too, because you can get a lot in and, like, you don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to be as focused about it. But, like, Queen to G7 and now um, E6, G6. Rook to G1 is... Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think you might be right. I was thinking Bishop to D7 and then Rook to F8. But I actually think... Um, I think Idon might be right. Uh, uh, bishop, rook to g1, and then you win the bishop. Or wait, uh, the only thing I'm nervous about, about, um, rook to g1. So rook to g1, king to f2, probably. And then rook takes... Yeah, so, so here's the line I was thinking of. I was thinking rook to g1... 
Yeah, but Rook to F1. I'm actually fine with Rook to F1. Rook to F1 at least, like, trades off a bunch of material. Uh, but, yeah, but then you're up a piece. So I think Rook to F1 is not does not cause problems for black. So I'm all right with Rook to F1. The move that I'm actually the most nervous about is Rook to F1, and then King to F2, and then Rook takes A1, right? And then, so after Rook takes A1, Queen to F3. And I think the Queen on F3 is going to support Rook to F7. Um, and that's going to be difficult. But Rook to F1, I think, is okay. Yeah, Queen to F3, right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, so maybe... I, I'm thinking it's Bishop to D7. Um, but I, I'm not 100%. I think Bishop to D7 might need to be played. Or King to... Uh, well, King to G8, Rook takes G6. Um, but I think Bishop to D7... And then... Here's what I think it is. I think Here's what I think it is, actually. I think it's Bishop to D7... Okay, and then the queen goes to f3. Oh, wait, no, that's actually not right. Uh, no, the, here's the line I was thinking of. I was thinking about um, bishop to d7, and then um, queen to f1. And a queen to f1 uh, basically checks both the g2 pawn and it threatens rook to f7. So I think that maybe bishop to d7 isn't playable because of queen f1. Rook to f1. Oh, maybe. Yeah, you know you you know what it is. I think Idon is right. I think that's what it is. I think it's um I think it's king to g8. So this is a pretty crazy tactic, right? So um, uh, or actually maybe not. Wow. See, this is such a difficult one. Um, because I was thinking king to g8 first. Now, like. King to g8 right now, and then rook takes uh, g6. So king g8, rook takes g6. Uh, rook to um, g1, king to f2, rook to a takes a1, rook takes g7, and then uh, king takes g7. What about rook g1, king f2? Okay, sure. Uh, rook to g1, king f2. Hey, welcome, welcome, FIFA boy. Thanks for joining the stream. Um, so rook g1, king f2. Good to see you. It's been a while, FIFA boy. Uh, but nice to see you. Um... So rook g1, king f2, rook takes f2. Well, I'm just looking at your game. Uh, I'm thinking about this um, uh, this one uh, uh, copyright. Uh, I was looking at um, rook g1, king f2, but rook takes f2 can't be played, right? R you mean rook takes a1, queen f3? So... I think I think we're looking at the same line. Rook g1, king f2, rook takes a1, queen f3, right? Yeah, no, 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 no worries. No, no problem. Um, so, uh, so king g8, queen d3 repeats, though. Yeah, I think that's right. So you have to be careful. Um, let's think about this. Uh, bishop d7, queen... The thing about bishop to d7 is I think queen f1 refutes it. Right. 
Yeah, so I was thinking about that, Kira. So yeah, I think you're right about that. So Rook F1, so here's, here, I was fine with the lines that um, that involve two rooks for the bishop and queen. So the lines that I, I thought might lead to two rooks for the bishop and queen would be things like rook to g1, king to f2, rook takes, um, uh, rook takes a1, rook to f7, Oh, wait, sorry, we gotta count this out again. Rook f, rook to g1, king f2, rook takes a1, queen f3, um, and then uh, rook to f7 coming next move. So basically bishop to d7, rook to f2, and then rook to, and then rook to g8, unless I'm missing something. So rook g1, king f2, rook takes a1, queen f3, bishop d7, rook to f7. So I think, yeah, I think that's right. I think that's okay. I think you're right. Um, uh, well, no, no, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking rook to g1, king to the king to the second rank, rook takes a1, and then queen to f3, but with, and then rook to, and then uh, queen to f3, bishop d7, Rook f7, rook g8. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, I think I'm going to play that. So rook g1, king to the second rank. Uh, rook takes a1. Um, and then uh, bishop to... Uh, and then queen f3, bishop d7, rook f7, rook to g8. I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't think rook f8 is ever playable, but I think rook to g8, I think what you're talking about, rook to g8 ends up in this situation. So I'm pretty sure I've got it right. So let's check it out. I think it's rook to g, yeah, and rook to g1 is going to be the end of the puzzle. Uh, but I think it's rook to g1. Yeah, so king d2, and now rook takes a1. Okay, cool. And then it was going to be queen f3, bishop d7, rook to f7, rook to g8, rook takes queen, uh, rook takes rook, and then it would have been three pieces to, uh, to a queen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that. So, that, interesting. All right, good stuff. Um, man, we're gonna really, we're, we're slowing down on these, but, uh, these are pretty exciting puzzles, actually. Uh, is the board big enough? <laughs> uh, bishop takes h2 immediately. Yeah, well, I mean, definitely an attack on the king side. I was thinking, here's what I, I... So, all right, the first thing, you asked me the first thing that I see when I look at this puzzle. So I'm looking at, um, uh, I'm looking at the first... So the first thing that comes to my mind is knight to f3, pawn takes f3, bishop to f4. So that threatened, that bishop to f4 threatens the queen, right? And, uh, and then the queen has to go somewhere, and then you play queen to g5, check, and then queen to h4, and you're threatening checkmate, and I don't think white can get out of it. So I'm pretty sure it's that. I, so that's, that's the, that's, this one, for whatever reason, I had less trouble with. I think it's, um, I think, it, so I think it's, uh, knight f3, well, why the check first? Why not just bishop to f4? Uh, good question. Um, because you need to basically, um, because the pawn is obstructive is the main, is the main point here. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of curious about is if, uh, if bishop to, uh, so queen to h4 first. Oh, uh, cause it puts, um, uh, Good question. Why queen to g5 first? Yeah, knight, knight f3, pawn takes f3, bishop f4. Then queen to d2, and then king to... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. You're right. Because uh, cause these rooks are stuck, so there's not really a reason... Uh, the only situation in which you need to play queen to g5, right? 
So, uh, so the line that I'm looking at is knight to f3, pawn takes, bishop f4, queen to d2, or somewhere. But also there could be knight to f3, pawn takes f3, bishop to f4, rook to e3. If there was rook to e3 to block the, um, to block the file, then queen to g5 is necessary. Uh... Hmm. Oh, because uh, because queen to h4 and then e5. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So I'm thinking knight f3. Yeah, no, no. Knight f3, pawn takes f3, bishop to f4, and then something, like queen move probably. And then, um, and then uh, if the rook to e3, then queen g5, queen h4, threatening h2. If the queen just moves, then eight, queen h4 is fine. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm pretty confident enough on this one. So I think it's knight f3. And now I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so it's bishop to f4 now. Okay, and then the queen took it and bail, bails us out. So um, so that was good. Nice. All right, on to the next one. Uh, maybe like one or two more and then we can go over the game reviews. Um, but we can save this game, which is the coolest part. We can save it till tomorrow. Uh, what's, um, what's the question, Kiro? Go go ahead, Kira. I'm curious. Um, all right. So this one, uh, the first move that I see is bishop to f4, just because it's so. So you asked me like what um, the uh, yeah, of course, Idon. Yeah, definitely. Feel free. Uh, bishop c5, king d3. Queen d6. It does. You're right. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, I like that point to uh, copyright. So bishop to c5, and then on king to d3, queen to d6. Right. Bishop c5. King to, yeah, and then king to d3, queen to d6, and then uh, on king to e2, rook to f2. I think you've, yeah, I think you've got it. Um, I think that's right. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, thanks, Idon. Um, I'll add that game uh, for, um, uh, that game's added for uh, May 31st at, um, at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, or I can do the night session. Would you rather have 8 a.m. Eastern Time or 9.35 p.m. Eastern Time? Um, since we've started doing, like, sessions, uh, the games have kind of backed up a little bit. Um, I'll make it for... I'll make it 9.35 p.m. Eastern Time on, uh, on, uh, May 31st. Okay, cool. Uh, it's added for May 31st, so that's, um, uh, Monday. Um, but I'm liking bishop to c5. Bishop to c5. I think I think uh, actually copyright's uh, line was uh, was perfect. Um, bishop to c5, followed by um, uh, followed by king to e4, and then queen to e5, and then uh, on king to d3. Although actually, let's think about that line. That's the one line that it might get away. So, bishop to c5. Bishop to c5, king to, um, no, queen to e4 is fine. Yeah, I think, I think copyright got the line right off the bat. So bishop to c5, and then, so bishop to c5, king to d3, queen to d6. Um, if on king to e4, then queen to, um, uh, d4 checkmate. If on, uh, queen d6, king to e2, then rook to f2 checkmate. Um, the other direction, uh, bishop to c5, um, bishop to c5, king to, uh, e4, queen to e5, king to d3, queen to d4, and then rook to f2. 
Yep, pretty sure it's that. Okay, that was unexpected, but I, this isn't this this causes black no problems. Okay, um. Uh, good question. A uh, really good question, Kiro. Um, the uh, main question that I have about that, um, yeah, no, there's definitely truth to that. Um, but the the main right, no, no, no. I, I totally understand, and I think you're right about that. I, I guess the main thing is that um, you know, uh, your skill in one makes your skill in the other better. So you know, let's say you're you're making um, uh, you know, basically. If you're seeing seventy percent of the um, the maiden threes during a game, um, you know, basically getting to the point where you're seeing, you, you're just trying to increase the percentage of the time that you're seeing the winning tactics. So, like, you know, seventy percent of the time to eighty percent of the time, you're still not going to have as good percentage returns as um, uh, as you do doing during puzzles. So, like, you know, if you have like a, um, uh, you know, making your puzzle strength bigger will also make your ability to see the winning move during a game better. But the uh, but you will still have that problem in that it's not completely transferable. The goal is just to bring your skills up on everything as high as they can go. Um, so like, yeah, so so in that case, um, you want to make the, uh, you know, if you can raise your skill uh, in puzzles 200 points, you know, the correlation between puzzles and games might be 75%. But if you bring your skill up 200 points, then you'll bring your tactical skill up in games 150 points. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's basically like a question of like how how correlated your puzzle like your puzzle skill is to your in-game tactical skill. Um, it's not perfect. It's definitely harder to see things during the game. But um, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, like improving one improves the other too. So that's that's my thinking on that. Um, yeah, so, uh, so here we're on to, uh, let's make this the last one for tonight, um, and then we can go on to the game reviews, uh, but I'm thinking like, like, I'm thinking like queen to d4 maybe. But I also sort of like queen to d1. Because after queen to d1, I don't think white can do anything to fix it. Uh, I think basically um, uh, with queen to d1, this, um, uh, you know... Yeah, no, no, I mean, I think I think it's not perfect. I think it's still definitely harder to see your, um, you know, to see things in-game. But, like, uh, if you improve one, you'll improve the other is, is the, main, the main point there. Um, but I think queen to d1 here might be the right move. Queen to d1, and then this pressure on uh, on king to g on the king on g1. Um, the only question I have is on queen to d1, queen to e1, or queen to e8. Uh, I don't know exactly how to deal with that. I think on queen to e8, so queen to d1, queen e8, king to g7, queen to e7, rook to f7, should work. Yeah, I, I sort of like that play. Let's let's give that a shot. Queen to d1, and then on queen to e1, uh, uh, king to g7, and then on queen e7, rook to f7. What's wrong with queen to d4? Um, king to h2 is the main reason. Uh, to well, yeah, actually, good point. Why why not um, uh, why not queen d4? Uh, king to h2, rook takes, uh, rook takes f1. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, good question. Queen to d4, king h2, rook takes f1, 
Uh, Uh, the only thing is, the only thing that it, um, uh, yeah, no, no, the only thing that I'm wondering about with, uh, with Queen, I guess they both lose defense on E6, so it's sort of moot there, right? Um, tough one. Yeah, is queen d4 better than is queen d4 better than uh than queen to d1 is my question yeah i guess that's probably right it's probably queen to d4 um I don't know. Queen to d4, I guess. Okay, let's try it. And then rook takes f1, and then queen to g8. There's still some lines I'm not sure about. So, queen to g8, rook takes f1, queen to g8. Queen to g7, I guess, right? And then queen takes e6. So I'm actually not so sure about that. Rook takes f1, queen to g8, and then queen to king to h5, maybe? Uh... Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. It's going to be rook takes f1, so then we'll get at least one more move out of this. Oh, and then it's king to... Wait, no, no, no wait. Queen g7, queen takes e6. Uh, queen g7, queen takes e6, king h7... Or king to h or king to h uh, five first. Yeah, so king to h five then. Okay. That's forced. And then that looks fine. Okay. All right. Let's wrap up for the evening. Uh, that one was, I don't know. Uh, but, um, but yeah. Uh, good job, Ophelia, not using an engine. Uh, thanks for, for that. Uh, but, yeah. Um, uh, cool. Uh, awesome. Good, um, good puzzle. Uh, and, uh, and let's do the game reviews. Um, interesting games, though, for sure. Um, all right, uh, first game. Uh, this is TKBTSXU's game. Um, <laughs> uh, and by the way, just, just to be clear, like, let's not use, en just don't use engines, please. It's sort of, it's sort of kind of wrecks it to use an engine. Um, I don't know. It makes things less. It makes things less fun. I'd rather. I'd rather get. I'd rather get them wrong than than uh than have 
people like use engines. Um, uh, so yeah, D4, D5, C4, C6, and uh, basically um, here, uh, uh, this is the Slav. Um, early uh, knight f3, knight f6, uh, d5, c6, slav, um, and uh, no, 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 no. Thank you very much for uh, for not um, uh, for not. Uh, uh, if you if you use an engine, please don't tell us. Is my main is my main point. Um, anyways, this is just the first day trying to do tactics. So um, so interesting. Kind of kind of cool to see. Interesting to see. And uh, yeah, fun. I I think that's fun. I don't know. It's fun if we can if we can stay in the spirit of it. Um, uh, anyways, um, this is a Slav game. Uh, I'm just gonna play through it really fast just to see what happens. Um, cool. And yeah, it looks like Black uh, misplays and loses a rook in the end game. Uh, but let's let's slow it down and go uh, go um, through the game. Uh, so Slav opening um, e3 in terms of how commonly that's played. Uh, that's played looks like about a third of the time. Um, e3 bishop g4 is the third option. Um, and uh, cool, yeah. Thank you very much, Ophelia. Uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Knight to c3, and then uh, Black has a number of choices here. So um, so. Most common here is e6. This would set up the uh, semi-slav structure. Uh, a6, um, uh, queen b6, and uh, uh, d takes c4. Um, but in this game, uh, 11 out of 950. Um, so it looks like about a 1.5% possibility. So it's not eligible for that capable of. Uh, it's not basically eligible for that um, removal from the opening theory uh, uh, criteria that I was using. Um, bishop to e2, e6, um, bishop to, or h3, bishop to h5, and, uh, castles, bishop to g6, b3. Uh, black's looking fine, uh, there's no real issues with this position. Um, bnd7 was not the most common move, uh, you know, it does move the eval a little bit towards white, but it's basically fine. You turn, in, turn it into a semi-slav. Um, there's going to be potential with c5, uh, I think. Bishop takes, rook c1. And overall, I think uh, I think basically white's doing, you know, black's doing fine. White's basically equal. Uh, no issues. Thinking queen g5, um, f6 undermining this pawn, that makes sense. Rook takes. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like uh, pawn takes f6 was an error here. Um, in terms of looking at this error, uh, I don't know. I mean... We're way out of opening theory. Okay, so pawn takes f6, rook takes f6. Um, that's an idea. Uh, pawn takes f6. Engine's not saying rook takes f6, though. That's sort of interesting. Um, I guess I would say that, you know, after, um, after pawn takes f6, with, like, rook takes f6, queen takes f6... Um, the pawn structure in the center is pretty much symmetrical. Uh, I don't know if there's really much improvement in terms of, um, uh, you know, I don't really know how much there's really in terms of improvement of pawn takes f6. Like, I don't know, rook, pawn takes f6, rook takes f6. This looks pretty much better for, um, uh, you know, better for black. Um... White doesn't really have any points of vulnerability. This um, uh, situation looks about equal. Rook takes, bishop to g4, queen d6. And uh, yeah, th this uh, black didn't need to gambit the, that, uh, that e6 pawn. Um, but it appeared to happen. Uh, Queen to g4 hangs the, um, uh, basically, on h5, uh, uh, bishop to e4, I think, right? B 
bishop to e4, then bishop to g4. Anyways, um, going through this, uh, uh, going through this again, um, hey, thanks very much for the, uh, the follow us, uh, super, thanks very much, uh, appreciate it, thank you very much for joining the stream, uh, but yeah, uh, f6 succeeds in undermining this big center that white has, so, sort of um, uh, rook takes and white's, you know, basically uh, uh, white is no longer uh, pressing nearly as hard in the center. Um, here, you know, pawn takes f6 I think is fine. Uh, the engine, I guess, you know, engine was evaluating queen h2 as fine, but that hangs the e6 pawn. Pawn takes is okay. Uh, you know, pawn takes and then king g7. I think basically here black is fine. Um, king to f1. Sure, but uh, there's no reason that black has to give up this full e6 pawn. That doesn't really make any sense to me. So I think that pawn takes f uh, f6 uh, is a better situation. Ends up is a better situation for uh, for black. Um, things like king g7 could be helpful, um, and uh, and overall black's going to end up in a in a pretty good situation um, with uh, you know kind of a more contained pawn structure, um, opportunities to develop, and. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess I, I don't know if his minor pieces are better, but I think he can kind of control the center after uh, after e5. Bishop to e7 and followed by e5 are probably going to be good for black. Um, I think that's going to be a uh, I think that's going to be an improvement. Um, so I don't know. Uh, f6, rook takes, queen d6, and uh, black's black, black looks fine out of this situation. Rook takes, pawn takes f6. Um, no reason to go overboard and hang the e6 pawn. I don't think that benefited black in any way, so, um, yeah. Uh, pawn takes f6. So that's the first improve. I, I think otherwise in this game, uh, black's played a pretty intuitive game. Um, pawn takes f6 uh, is, uh, as opposed to queen takes, uh, queen to h2, um, is better. It doesn't lose the e6 pawn. Um, now that we're here, uh, what are the, what's the refutation for queen to g4? Um, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe, um, uh, I mean, there's no way to win this rook. h5 and then queen to h3 maybe? Um... But maybe if queen to, so eight let's look at the different lines here. So if h5 queen to f3 bishop to e4 and then what queen to e2 or queen to f2. Uh, if queen to e2 then bishop to f bishop to g3 I think is pretty dangerous. Um, that locks things in there. Um, so yeah, h5, uh, h5, bishop to f3, bishop to e4, and uh, yeah, uh, I think that um, that black will end up in a good situation there. Um, so yeah, h5, h5 is the move, and basically it, it will involve ideas that will, um, you know, that will bring these bishops in quickly and uh, and limit the white king's escape squares. Um, h5, queen f3, bishop to e4, uh, and then, uh, you know, queen to f2, if queen to f2, then bishop to um, g3, and if uh, queen to e2, then also bishop to g3. Um, and the king's escape squares are very limited, and then you play queen to h1, and queen takes um, g2 there. So yeah, that's an improvement. Um, uh, and then black blunders. So so basically that, you know, on queen g4, uh, uh, black does play h5, queen f3, and then bishop to d3 as opposed to, um, as opposed to, uh, uh, 
bishop to e4. Um, so bishop to d3, and you've basically allowed this escape for the king. So the king plays to e1 here. Um, then, uh, you know, something like potentially bishop to g3 could be good. Um, queen to g1, maybe. But overall here, uh, you know, the bishop to g3, king e2, and, uh, and white, has, uh, white has some escape squares. Um, probably, so, so I don't know if bishop to e4 would be playable here still, um, but I don't know. Uh, this is a whole kind of tactical mess. Um, but a better way to exploit this position was bishop to e4 as opposed to bishop to d3. Bishop to g3 here, king d2. And now, um, yeah, now it's pretty much equals again. Uh, and then black uh, plays um, uh, queen to g3. Queen to g5 was the move. Uh, queen to g5, and then king is forced to, uh, to um, f2. Uh, and uh, I think then you at least have perpetual. Queen to g5, king f2, queen to h4, and then either king to e3, in which case you do the same thing again, or um, or uh, king to g1, queen to g3, um, and black wins in that case. So anyways, um, interesting situation. Uh, And uh, yeah, this basically trades off um, uh, kind of badly after, um, uh, yeah, rook to e5 doesn't really make a lot of sense here. Uh, I think that, you know, bishop, bishop takes h3 potentially, or even just rook to f8, uh, I don't really think is too terrible. Um, with careful play, uh, black should be able to get out of the situation. Um, but instead, uh, black hangs the rook and the game sort of concludes. So, um, so in going over this game, uh, most of it was tactical. Uh, the uh, biggest tactic, I think the most straightforward tactic to see here, was um, uh, on this, um, this uh, uh, recapture of this rook. Um, I think basically just, you know, don't get overexcited. You know, you're going to have, um, you're going to have queen h2 available to play, be played ne the next move if you want. Um, but don't hang the e6 pawn. There's no real reason to play queen h2 so urgently that you hang a full pawn. Uh, that full pawn ends up being a big problem for, uh, for black, so pawn takes f6 and, uh, and black is fine. Um, don't lose the pawn on e6 if you don't have to. Um, instead, uh, the pawn on e6 gets lost, and then there's a tactical play on um, bishop to e4, which is a big improvement on bishop to d3. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the two... Um, Th those, that's the difference. Uh, bishop to e4 here, and then threats on a uh, on g2, um, and threats of bishop to g3. Um, but those are basically the you know those are the errors uh, that are decisive in this game. Uh, they're primarily tactical. Um, the first one, don't hang the e6 pawn. Uh, you know, queen h2 is going to be available to black to be played uh, on the next move anyways. And then um, uh, and then the other one was. Um, uh, Uh, the other one is here, where bishop to e4 is a better tactic than bishop to d3. Um, but anyways, uh, interesting game. Um, two small improvements there. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for uh, for sending it over. Um, appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, you've sent a bunch, TB, TK. And uh, yeah, feel free to keep sending them. Um, I'm always happy to take in more games. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for participating. Thanks for uh, uh, being part of the stream. All right, on to the next one. Uh, cool. Uh, so this is, um, uh, let's take this game from White's perspective. Um, this is a, uh, basically, um, Italian game with a play for, uh, for D4. That's a common theme. I play D3. Uh, D3 seems to be pretty good. It's solid. Um, I feel like Black in this situation has played a, um, you know, kind of a, a weak move with H6. Um, there's no real reason to play H6 here. Uh, you know, it, uh, defends against a very narrow, um, uh, set of threats uh, basically only moves to g5 that's all it does so 
Um, so yeah, I think overall that that uh, that h6 idea is uh, is pretty thin. Um, uh, d5, bishop to d3, knight to do um, e4, and uh, yeah, I think basically here white's you know white's in good shape. Um, in terms of winning these pawns, uh, you know, basically with knight, bishop takes knight, or bishop takes pawn here, uh, you know, white gets a full piece up. Um, I thought there was some tactic associated with it, but when I slow it down, no tactic. Uh, so yeah, white's better here. Um, no real, uh, uh, no real issues, and, uh, can just sort of walk in a win. Um, I guess, you know, since this is a pretty quick game and not super complicated, uh, we can take a look. Um, h6, I think, is really inefficient here. Uh, we can take a look and see kind of what, how that, um, uh, you know, how that equates to the, um, you know, how that works in the opening book. Uh, h6 here, uh, is played about 0.2% of the time, um, and, uh, if it, um, moves the dial a lot, then, uh, then I guess we can kind of safely remove it from the thing. Um, but yeah, h6, uh, and, uh, Basically, white's going to end up... So, uh, the, the line on knight f6, right, is white being up by about 0.4, or 0.3, somewhere between 0.3 and 0.4. And after h6, white is up by about 0.8. So, you know, it's pretty much on the edge of where... Or maybe, maybe 0.9. Um, it's pretty much on the edge of where you would remove it from your opening theory. I understand it serves a particular purpose, and I understand that in, you know, D3, but D3 hasn't even been played yet. So, um, so the number of moves that, uh, that H6 really prevents is very narrow. Um, there's just not much there. Uh, D3, knight to C3, bishop to E3, and basically white's gonna be in better shape here. Um, you know, I, so I think that H6, I, I would not be playing moves like that. You know, I think using the rigid criteria that we've created, uh, it would be, um, you know, removed. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think, um, basically black can, uh, can come up with more challenging moves to white. Um, this move just doesn't serve enough purposes for an early opening move, to be honest. Um, castles, bishop c5, c3, knight f6. And basically, um, there's no reason, uh, that, um, you know, basically in this situation, right, uh, white plays d3 most of the time. On d4, uh, you know, bishop to d6 is more common than e takes d4, uh, but, um, but pawn takes, pawn takes, uh, bishop takes c d4 is really a, um, large tactical error that will give white an advantage of about five. Uh, this game's almost over already, piece up, so, um, so yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so basically, um, the only close thing that happened was, uh, uh, on bishop f4, knight takes d3. Knight takes d3 here, knight takes d3, and then queen f5 forks this knight and this bishop, right? And then white, black's still down a piece, um, but we'll have bishop a6 available on the next turn potentially. So say like queen to d2, um, bishop to a6, and you have this, uh, you have this basically pin uh, and, uh, and discovered threat on the rook on f1. So, um, so yeah, you know, this ends up being better for, um, uh, you know, be, end up being better for, uh, for black. Um, so this was a tactical error. Uh, bishop to f4 overextended in a way that didn't need to be done. Um, bishop to, uh, e4, uh, basically puts pressure, skewers the queen. Bishop to e4, I think, is just a very straightforward move for, uh, for white. You're up a piece here, you don't really have to, you know, you don't really have to be maximizing to win this game. Um, but bishop e4 and pressure on a8, and, uh, I think all's, all's well. Um, yeah, so white's just better. White's better by about 10. Uh, nicely done. Um, and, uh, yeah, just in terms of what to focus on in this game, um, the real decisive points here were bishop takes d4, um, where white gets up by a piece, and then, uh, bishop to f4, which overextends, um, uh, which basically overextends white on the, and loses to, or loses or equalizes to the tactic knight takes d3, knight takes d3, queen to f5, and basically, um, uh, you know, 
threats on the d3 um, knight are big. Bishop to a6 is playable, and uh, and threats on uh, uh, f4. Um, yeah, you know what? I did a simul this morning, Amet. Uh, I think you would have enjoyed it. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, honestly, I, I'd wear I. I'd rather do lessons, uh, you know, um, it's kind of interesting, people pay a lot of money for lessons, so I figure that if I give free lessons, people should be coming here, but, um, I don't know, <laughs> uh, it's a good question, um, yeah, uh, I played this morning, uh, maybe next week, uh, next week we might do another simul, um, Anyways, this is an interesting game. Uh, most was uh, decided on that tactical d4. And, uh, yeah. Interesting. Alright, here's Subban's game. Um, Subban playing black here. Uh, d e4, c5. Uh, uh, he, this is the Sicilian Alpin. d6, d4... Knight d7, bishop to b4, and basically here, uh, white's, you know, white's up, a, um, you know, almost a pawn. Uh, rook to b8, uh, c4, and uh, this is an awkward position for, uh, for black. Um, you know, I think that d6 is fine. On d4, I think you're supposed to play pawn takes d4. Uh, I guess, I don't know, knight d7 is pretty far down the list. The book move is knight to f6. Um, I guess this leads to, uh, you know, basically Sicilian Alpin seems to have more threats on e4 than I remembered uh, as um, as black. Uh, we were looking at one the other day where it was a threat on e4 from knight f6, and the refuting line was uh, was e5. So here's another one where white can, where black can play an early knight f6, and uh, e5 um, uh, is available for uh, for white. Um, yeah, interesting. So yeah, knight d7, this is, uh, you know, black is out of theory here. Bishop to b4, b6, uh, pawn takes, and uh, overall, black ends up in a good situation. But let's see where things really adjusted, because queen d5 doesn't see queen d5 doesn't seem like an extremely dangerous error, right? Um... After c6, d6 isn't very accurate. But the issue, the error here is given, so g6 is fine, um, but the error is given as queen to d5. On queen to d5, uh, I guess knight to f6. Um, I don't know, queen to d3, I guess. Uh, but uh, allowing, queen to d5 allows this kingside knight to develop with tempo. So, um, so that's big. Uh, queen to d3, I guess, is possible. Um... But on queen to g5, uh, maybe knight takes e4, and basically black is fine. Uh, so yeah, overall, uh, you know, black plays a move that uh, that quickly secures development, and uh, ends up better here. Knight to f6, castles. There are new emotes. Uh, Jen was nice enough to make us new emotes. I thought those were cool, uh, and uh, yeah, feel free to use them. Um, the uh, uh, the emotes are neat. Um, there's instead of just the tactics one, we now have the tempo one. Uh, I think it's great. Um, very nice of her to make them. So the next time she's online, we'll have to uh, we'll have to thank her. Um, but yeah, let me see. I like it. These ones are cool. Uh, but yeah. Um, so anyways, you know, uh, queen to a5, bishop d2, rook queen to b6 and you know it's mainly you know uh, it's kind of crazy how white loses all of its integrity here like it's like you know uh without this integrity it's just the position just kind of falls apart it's you know it's sort of sad at the end of the day but um but if white just kind of gives up uh you know basically it, if white's position no longer has kind of the same structural integrity that it did earlier in this position uh, it's just kind of a done, you know, it's just kind of a done game. Um, you know, this quickly collapses when, um, uh, you know, basically the structural integrity of e4 uh, goes away. Um, mostly just sad, you know, it's just sort of sad to see it kind of deteriorate. Not unexpected, but sad. 
Um, knight takes e4, uh, queen f4, knight f6, castles, bishop g7, rook e1, castles, knight to g5, and basically um, black's going to end up in a situation, or white's, black's going to end up in a situation where he's way better, and uh, and black has, uh, and white has diminished integrity uh, on the, um, uh, you know, basically on the queen side. Uh, there's going to end up being a threat on b2, um, that's, uh, you know, rough, but it's just sort of sad to see the game deteriorate, you know? Um, rook takes, queen a5, uh, queen to b6 is a big error. Um, uh, yep. Uh, better was, uh, was rook to b4. Uh, this only loses an exchange. Um, here, bishop takes b4, queen takes b4, queen takes b4, c takes b4. Black's fine. You know. But yeah, it is. It's just sad. What can you do? Um, in this situation, uh, probably knight to c5 is better. Uh, knight to d3. Um, nah, you know, honestly, Kiro, I, I, I don't worry about this kind of stuff. You know, I just play my own game. I, I play a moral, you know, I just, I just act in a way that's moral and, um, uh, you know, uh, play my own game do what makes fun for me do what i think might help the world it's just sad i honestly i'm gonna be straight up i'm just i don't know i'm just very sad that there's so much cheating in chess that really just disappoints me uh you know it's one of those things like life is hard but i, I just view chess as like one of those I, i've been playing for so long i've been playing for 25 years and i've never cheated a single time and just the fact that people think that it's okay to cheat now is just sad it really just bums me out. I, I, I you realize I'm, I'm, I'm being a little too upsetting, but I just, uh, no, just looking at the, uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm concerned about the integrity of our tactical practice, um, but uh, that, I don't know. It's just sad to me. Anyways, if it wasn't, and I'm not talking about Aphelion. I'm just, I'm just saying, I, it's sad that uh, the lines were found so quickly. Um, anyways. Uh, what can you do? Uh, yo, yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I don't care about that. I mean, I think that's that's cool. Uh, no, that doesn't bother me at all, Kiro. To be honest, um, none of that none of that stuff bothers me. You know, it's again like I'm playing my own game. Uh, it's it's I'm happy for the I'm happy for the highest level players that do well for themselves. No, I there's nothing uh, there's nothing to worry about there. Um, but I don't know. No, I'm I'm happy for that guy. Uh, knight f6 threatening the queen, knight takes e4, um, and uh, basically black is in good shape. Um, this this queen to uh, to b6 though, giving up this rook for nothing, uh, that's, that was an error. Um, Uh, yeah. Cool. So anyways, uh, interesting game. Uh... But yeah, black uh, black wins capitalizes on this. Um, uh, 
Uh, knight to f6, checking the queen, cool. Knight takes e4, queen to f4. And, uh, yeah, black's just fine. Uh, big tactical position. Honestly, there's enough tactical volatility in this game that I'm sort of like, this is just really about tactics. A chaotic game where both players had many chances to win. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, tactical complications. Um, I'm not going to get too worried about this. Uh, you know, it's, um, uh, you know, it, if players are interested in improving these games, uh, feel free to, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, you know, I recommend tactics training. I think they're good tools to improve tactically. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, um, I don't know, uh, not much. Uh, in terms of, like, opening theory, I guess, uh, knight d7 is not the book line. The book line is knight to f6. And, uh, yeah. Knight to f6, knight takes e4. And overall, um... Yeah, uh, you know, it just turns into a tactical situation. Review knight to f6 versus knight to d7 if you want to improve your opening theory. Um, but after uh, knight to f6 against queen to d5, um, there's, uh, you know, there's not much. Knight takes e4, basically black is fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, these games were fairly uncomplicated. Um, uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the tactical study. And uh, yeah, honestly, pretty pretty happy about uh, pretty happy happy about uh, this uh, you know new new approach to uh, to things. Um, and uh, yeah, really hope you guys all have a good night. Um, next stream is at 8 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning. Um, really hope to see you guys there. And uh, yeah, awesome. Um, uh, but yeah, really interesting question, Kira. Uh, no, no, I honestly I don't care. Chess is chess is trivial. I do this because it's fun. Um, and at the end of the day, like, uh, you know, I, I think that I'm much more interested in kind of disrupting the business model than I am in actually becoming a stronger chess player. Uh, I'm very happy that people have had such success. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't care about that. Um, I, my, it will just make me much happier when, uh, when this business model is successfully disrupted and, uh, and people will no longer be ripping off, um, uh, you know, charities and governments. Um, to fund uh, material that um, is available for free in many places online. That's the place, that's, that's really the goal here, uh, you know, to stop people basically stealing. Uh, so, um, so yeah, you know, it's a really good uh, point that you're making, uh, Kiro. Uh, I don't really care about the GM. That's not my goal. That's not what I'm interested in. And uh, thank you very much. Um, have a good night. Uh, really appreciate y'all being here, and uh, uh, thank you for the uh, question. Thanks. Bye.